Look how cute, look how cute. Take them from the kitchen to the craft room. With a stack of coffee filters, you can create fun containers for all of your Easter treats. These are elegant enough for a party favor and easy enough for a classroom craft. Creative editor Jill Broadbent is here to show us how these are so adorable. Cute. The colors are so good and you say they are easy. It is so easy. Really? Was, yeah, super easy. I mean, we've done coffee filter crafts for a while, but this is such a fun way to bring it into Easter. And that little frill and the extra little detail is so much fun. Oh, and they're so easy to work with. It's fantastic. What yeah. supplies do we need? Obviously so, the coffee filters. We need coffee filters. Is there a certain kind? These? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Size. Yeah, I matter. mean, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I don't know exactly, but these are pretty standard. Yeah. And you get like 200 and something for $1.99. So you get a few baskets yeah, in that you, bundle. You will be able to make plenty. So you need these. Then you need these like cupcake liner treat um, containers. Treat, treat cups? Yeah. They did say cupcake liners at Walmart when you buy those. Okay. Um, but they're this more sturdy size, but a cupcake size. Yeah, okay. So, and then you're going to need like a hot glue gun or glue dots or something to adhere everything together and then water and dye and that's it. Well, let's talk about the dye. How did you get such yes. great color? Okay, I look how pretty these are. They're Aren't those so fun? They're like a subtle neon. Like I almost just want to like put these out by themselves. Oh, they're so you cute, could right? Just, I mean, I could just stare. It's mesmerizing to look at the different variations. Yeah. And, the and that was part of the fun was just, you could do really basic kind of primary pastels, but I kept adding. So like if I had red, or pink, then I added a drop or two of orange to get kind of that ombre gradient effect before I went full orange. So you were going mixologist Yeah, yeah it was totally bit. fun. It was fun just to play around. So you're going to just put like a little bath of water. It doesn't take much at all. And then you're gonna put a lot of food coloring in it. These gel ones don't work as well. Okay. But every store is sold out of regular food coloring right now. St. Patrick's. So, yes, I know. But use just your basic standard um, drops of food coloring okay. and then you can mix and match whatever color palette you're wanting. And that's with. where the creative yes. fun happens yep. is playing so, with the different tones. Yeah, and then what you're going to do, and you can see how these kind of fade up. Yes. And that's because you just like take this whole stack and just drop it the straight whole stack? in. Yep, straight down like that. Okay. And then you see the water just kind of comes up and in. Yes. And for as long as you leave it, is how much color it's going to absorb. So if you just want just a touch of color, then you can pull it out right there. And you're trying to keep this part from getting all the way saturated. You want the bottom to yeah, be Yeah, just white. so you get that, like a flower petal has, right? Just that blend. Oh, so, this is so fun. So and yeah. so satisfying. I know, right? It's okay. so fun. So, so then what? Then you're going to set that to dry. So that's the part that takes the longest. Okay. And we can just leave it in there because okay. we're not going to use those. Um, but that takes the longest to dry. So you can dye an entire stack. There were probably 20 of in that little stack right there. Mm -hmm. And then if you set them out overnight, they'll all dry. If you need them to dry faster, just separate them all so they dry individually. But otherwise it's an overnight Yeah, but if process. you have, if you dye them the night, the day before, then they're ready to go. Okay. So that's the longest thing in the entire process. Okay, then how do we use so them? So once they're all dry, then you're going to grab a couple. So you can kind of pick your color palette. This is such a kick. So we are going to put one right into the center. There's a few different ways you can petal your coffee filters. Uh -huh. So you can see here, I've got like a nice little scallop on this one, uh -huh. and then this one I fringed. Okay, so let's you, show the difference really yep. fast. So you've got the spread scallop, and then here you've done the fringe. Can we come right. in on that, guys? Look at that. The so, effect is like subtle, but darling. Right, so decide which one you wanna do, and I'll do the other. Okay, I'll do the big blossom. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. Take You can take that many, you can take okay. a few. You're going to fold it in half. Okay. Then you're gonna fold it in half again, okay. like you're making a snowflake almost. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Fold it again. Okay. So for yours, you're going to round just those edges. Like to all make a in one arc? Yep. Okay. And you don't even have to cut the top, kind of just both oh. sides. Oh, sorry. You're I good. went for the whole thing. Whoa! So we, <laughs> sorry. When you do the whole thing, you'll lose kind of the, um, the oh. corrugated effect, which is totally fine. It'll be a cute one too. All right. Then if you want to do the fringe, mm -hmm. you're just going to cut into it like this. Okay. So either way, and honestly, you could leave them totally plain and not petal them at all, and it'll still be really frilly because and fun. Because it has that natural yep. curve yep. and scallop. So then once we've done that, then uh -huh. you're ready to work with them. Okay. And you're going to take one and put it right into your cup. So I just went like this with my glue, just uh -huh. enough to hold it in place. Uh -huh. And you're going to push one down right into the center. Okay. And that's going to be... Your base? Yep. And that gives it the stability. So yeah, it's glued in, uh -huh. and then that's where your treats are going to go. Okay. And then you can kind of like start playing with it. Then you're going to go on the outside. So you can add glue 
directly to the cup and right across the bottom. And then put another then, one. Yep, we'll drop one right on the bottom. Oh, Jill. And then you just kind of <gasps> hug it around. You build from there. And you just keep out, going. Out, 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 out. So minimum six. Cute. Five, six would Cute. be the le least amount I would do. How did but you most touch, of mine I did seven or eight. How did you touch the wire? So then, yeah, I just, floral wire, or I had some of these fun colors. You're just going to cut a piece and then drop just a little bit of glue right inside the cup on each side and it'll hold. Just glue so it. I think you could use ribbon if you wanted to. Yes. You know, but I just tied ribbon on the side and left okay. a little wire kind of dainty as a cute These little basket. These are fantastic. The full blossom or the fringe effect. Of course, we've got our favorite Cadbury egg in there as a little treat tucked inside. These coffee filter Easter baskets. You have a darling carrot. Can we yep. send people to Super Instagram easy. to, yep. to Make see a how to do out that? Of it and do the same thing. Okay, head over to our Instagram page. We'll post how to do this sure. variation, this craft variation of the cute coffee filter carrots as well. A great way, grandmas, to hand out those treats. Come Easter, Jill. Thank you so much. Thanks. And all of the instructions on our website, studio5.ksl. Dot com. I love those so Let's much. Take a moment. I love Jill's like <laughs> coffee filter baskets galore.